Tonight is a really exciting event. It's our final one of the year, an evening with the editors, and we have the most amazing panel with us tonight. So we have Joe Elvin from Glamour magazine, we have Jane Bruton from Grazia magazine, Trish Halpin from Marie Claire, and also Toby Wiseman from Men's Health. And then we have our Vice Chairman, Chris Good, interviewing all of them, who's the President of Estee Lauder for UK. So we are really excited. It's a sellout event. It's going to be a really fun evening. Well, I have a list of questions, but perhaps I'll go completely off cue and ask them all kinds of different stuff about their personal lives. No, seriously, I'm going to ask them about their background, uh, their history, you know, what made them so successful in the business, you know, how things are moving forward with fragrance and editorial and the magazine world in general. For me it's going to be an amazing opportunity to get inside those beauty editors' minds and as a retailer it'll be fabulous to see how we can help support their business and drive fragrance sales altogether. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for people to be in a non-business type of environment and uh, to understand a little bit about you know how each sort of functions in our industry works, so whether it be in the press, whether it be the trade, whether it be suppliers, so I think it's, it's a great opportunity for people to exchange and uh, just get a little bit more insight and a bit more understanding into each other's world. What made you go into journalism or the publishing industry in the first place? Well, I was always such an Anglophile, you know, growing up in Sydney and I was just loved, loved, loved magazines. Journalism was always in my mind from a very young age. Like when The Face and Arena came out, I remember like, you know, pouring over them and thinking, oh my God, that's so cool. And, you know, especially when they go, oh, you know, we've been clubbing in, you know, Liverpool or Manchester. And I, I was from Wigan, which was in between. And I think, oh my God, I could be in those pictures. I'd, ne <laughs> I'd never be in the pictures ever. I moved to a small um, contract publishing company where you're literally thrown in at the deep end and you, I had to do everything. I had to design pages, I had to research things, I had to probably sell advertising, I had to do everything. Obviously, glamour is, you know, it's, kind of, it, you know, it's no exaggeration, it changed my life, you know, it was, it's been such a brilliant job. Uh, when I started as a journalist, I was told that I needed to make a decision right there and then, um, whether I wanted to be a good writer or a good editor, which you can't be both. Um, I never really understood that, I still don't mm. understand. Back in the old days, it's like you put, you get your magazine to bed, you put it to print, and then that's it, you go home and you switch off. But now, you know, enough is, no, there was never enough, is there? You could just go yeah. on and on and on. And of course, social media is a, a great way of reinforcing brand values and speaking to your audience and that kind of thing. But there's no point in having your team spend half the time on something which you can't actually, haven't worked out a way to monetize. Well, Generally, editors are being asked to, do, to create more with less at the moment. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. That's not to say that it's not exciting, it's not to say it's a challenge. Quite often on a monthly, you have a great idea and think, by the time I could do it, freaking grassy all the time. <laughs> so, so, you know, so it's, so it's great to be able to have that online vehicle yeah, sure. and, and react immediately. I, sure. I love it. Well, obviously, it was a real pleasure to be invited by the Fragrance Foundation to be on this panel and to be considered to be, you know, one of the editors that they feel that the beauty industry would like to hear from. The majority of our time is probably taken up with fashion exactly. events, so, so it's, it's great nice. to do something beautiful. Well, it was certainly enlightening to ask some questions with the other editors. If you realise actually that you do share common feelings, that you're not on, on your own, so to speak. Some people look at the magazine industry and find it difficult to delineate. So it's really nice to get the opportunity to talk about your brand in that way.